everyone. This video is going to be complete trash. Um, I just spent like a half an hour looking around my house for my cleaning supply empties so I could make a video and I didn't realize that I already recorded that video a few weeks ago or maybe two weeks ago. I don't even know. Anyway, I have a ton of beauty items here uh, that are empties. Please excuse the way this room looks because I'm in the process of getting new furniture and things are getting kind of moved around and things and my lighting sucks. I know everything is like trash about this video. So I do have my trash bag. So let's get started. Um, I do have cleaning products here that are empties and then also beauty empties. And these cleaning product empties are ones that I had added on to from the last time I did the video. Anyway, are we, are we done? with the intro because you guys, I'm already so, so hot. And then I lost my tripod. So I'm looking around for my stupid ass tripod. You know where it was? On the desk that I'm recording right now. So let's start out with these nice dishwashing packs. These are for the dishwasher. They were bought at Hallmark, no, Walgreens. Um, this is the nice Walgreens brand. I think, yeah, anyway, they were really good. Gonna buy them again. So I did purchase a new steam cleaner at Kohl's and Hunter helped me out with that. Um, and the steam cleaner is actually geared toward pet messes. So it came with these Bissell cleaners. This one is the Bissell Professional Pet Urine Eliminator. Ugh, gross. Anyway, this one was a one that worked really good. This one also had a Scotch Guard in it, which was really nice. Um, and it just smelled really, really good. I would highly recommend this one compared to this one. This is the Pet Stain and Odor Antibacterial. I didn't like the smell of this. I would not purchase this in a bigger container. I would definitely get that gray one. Okay, in no particular order, we have a DW Home Spray in a floral fragrance. I don't even know. Um, here we have a Bath and Body Works. Uh, soap. This is Pretty Pink Peony. I kind of liked this. I like the way it looked. I like the way it smells. I would repurchase it. I also have a Resolve um, for newer looking carpets, carpet cleaner. This, I mean, I don't, do they even sell this anymore? I have no idea. I don't know what's going on. Okay. I also have some Crest 3D white strips. If you use these guys, you know, on a, on a schedule or whatever, it's great. Um, if you skip a few times and then like restart again, it's almost like you're starting all over again. But these are the ones that I bought at Walgreens and I do recommend these. They do work as long as you have yourself on a schedule. And I believe there were 10 strips in here, or 10 treatments, 20 strips, 10 for the top, 10 for the bottom. Um, then I have the Honest Mouthwash that is an empty. This one was pretty good, but I wouldn't repurchase this again because, I mean, I use mouthwash every day, but like this was kind of like sitting around a little bit because I had another mouthwash and I went to go use the rest of it and it just, it, it went bad. So just be careful about that. Um, let's see, from the body shop, I have some body butter and the fragrance mango that I finished. That's a really good one. I really like the way that one smells. Also, I have some extra lotion here. It was hard to get out of the pump, but this is the Hemp's Vanilla Plum. This one was good. I believe this one was a winter one, maybe? A winter one, but I'm just gonna throw it away because I have so much lotion and it is what it is. Um, this is the Appel Rose Petal Facial Wipes. Love these, just a quick little ooh, ooh, ooh before you go to bed if you don't have time to wash your face and at least it's better than nothing, um, especially in the summer when it gets really hot and you're like, oh my God, I have to wash my face. You can use these and they smell really good. Okay, oh, and then I have a Peach Bellini Body Butter from Bath and Body Works. This is the Ultra Shea Body Cream. This is really good. I love the fragrance of it. I would definitely repurchase again as long as they have it in stock. And then let's go through the hair color. I have three different hair colors here. I use nice and easy. I do need to dye my hair again, so no judgment. But these are the two different hair colors that I use for the summer. So this one is the new and improved number 11 ultra light blonde. There's the bitch on the box. And this one is the new and improved 10 PB 
ultra extra light pale blonde so this one is lighter than this one this one is more white compared to this one being more of like a yellow blonde um so i like the number 11 and that's the lightest shade that um clairol nice and easy has so that was just what i had in front of me now let me get this big bag oh my god oh, the baby's the baby's crying y'all she's barking i don't know what's going on okay this is the big kahuna um i don't even know how i'm gonna do this i'm just gonna throw everything on the floor okay so i have the beauty and planet argon oil and lavender relaxing rain body wash I love this stuff. This stuff smells really good. Uh, I bought it at Walgreens and I would definitely suggest it. Here we have the aromatherapy from Bath and Body Works. This is the shower gel. It is the lavender one in calming. Um, and yeah, it smells good. I'd buy it again. Here we have the Salon Selective Shampoo in the pump. Got this at the Dollar Tree. Would not repurchase it. It was a dollar, what can you do? Live Joyously by Philosophy. This is their shower gel. Um, I liked this fragrance, but I don't know if I would repurchase it again. Like it was okay, but it was just like, okay. It wasn't anything spectacular. And then we have the Appel Air Aloe Vera. Um, again, facial cleansing cloths. I really like these a lot. Use them every single day. Um, here we have, oh, this is by the Body Shop in Smoky Poppy. These are the bath bombs. And the only thing I would complain about with this is that they leave little poppy seeds all over your tub that you have to clean when you're finished. So, nope, won't be repurchasing that again. This is the Simple Sensitive Skin Water Boost Cleansing Water. I got this at Walgreens. I use this for my eye makeup. My eye makeup is super hard to get off, um, especially my eyeliner. It like takes a lot and I just don't want to rub because that's really sensitive skin under there. So I use this and it works and I love it. I also probably have a hundred of these, the Tresemme heat protectant. Uh, next time I do another video like this, you'll see another heat protectant that I'm going to be reviewing. But this is the heat tamer and I will be repurchasing this again. What is this? Oh, the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. You guys, this stuff is the stuff that Jeffree Star told everyone to get and it sold out. You can only get it at Ulta, I believe. And I loved it. Um, I went again to repurchase some more and it was out. So whatever. I don't know what this is. Um, 2 deodorants. Let's see. What do we have here? Oh, the Suave Tropical Paradise and the Suave Sweet Pea and Violet. For deodorants, I don't really like Suave. I don't know what made me buy it, but whatever. I'm a Dove girl now. Uh, Peppermint Stick Philosophy Shower Gel. Love it for the winter. We have a body scrub in Candy Carousel, which is like a cotton candy from the Bathing Garden. Highly suggest the Bathing Garden. Here's another Tresemme heat protectant because you all know how, how I am with that. Um, Advanced Repair Eucerin. I use this on my feet, you guys. Sometimes my feet get ashy. So you have to, you know, exfoliate, um, like scrub with, you know, a board or whatever, and then put lotion on and your feet will be like, you just, you know, went to an Asian. And then we have the Crabtree and Evelyn Pomegranate uh, Bath and Shower Gel. This one, was okay. I probably, I'm, I'm not really much of a pomegranate girl. So whatever. Then we have the bubble bear, uh, lavender bubble bath. I love this stuff. I live for it. You can buy it at TJ Maxx. So if you find it for like $8.99 at TJ Maxx, grab it. Um, another one is the mountain rose by the bath or no, not by the bathing garden, by the body shop. This is a body butter. Love that. Um, shampoo and conditioner should be in here somewhere. This is the Whole Blends Coconut Water. Is this a shampoo? Yeah. Hydrating shampoo. I use this in between using other things. So, I mean, it is what it is. Where's the conditioner? Here's the conditioner. So, it is what it is. It works. Go buy it. Um, let's see. I also use Winter Berry Wonder by Bath and Body Works. This is a shower gel. Here's a little body butter. And what is this? What is this? 
Body butter from the body shop, but what scent is it? Peach. Is it, what is this, mango? What is that? It doesn't say what it is. Oh my God, there's a picture of a mango on it. It's a mango. Anyway, and then I also used Burt's Bees Radiant Night Cream. This is really good for the night and also the neck. We gotta be really careful with our neck now since we're over 40. And then my hairspray, L'Oreal Lock It. You guys know I use this stuff all the time. I have another suave deodorant. I don't know what I was thinking. Here we have, oh, what is this? Blush. Oh, you know what? I didn't like this. This was a Lacombe blush, and it was the blush and other things, and it was creamy, and I, mm, no. No, thank you, ma'am. And then here is the Freeman Blackberry Gel Facial Cleanser. Liked this. It's gone, but I probably won't repurchase it. Um, here we have the Aromatherapy Happiness from Bath and Body Works. That was a really nice one. Here's another Tresemme. Oh my God. Tresemme. Ooh la la. Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath in Lavender. You guys, this stuff is $5 at Big Lots. It comes in like five different fragrances. This is good. It doesn't really bubble your bath as much as make it like a milky bath, which I love both. So this is a winner. Um, let's see, more facial cleansers. This one is the cucumber one, love it. Here we have, oh, here we go. This is by Regis, like the cost cutters brand in the moisturizer, shampoo and conditioner. This stuff was pretty good, it moisturized. I would probably repurchase it again, not gonna lie. Um, this stuff, okay, this is the Kenra Shine Spray. I like that my mom gave this stuff to me and it did shine my hair. I kind of liked it. It was kind of like one of those things where like you don't need it, but then once you use it, you're like, oh, okay. And then we have the Love Beauty and Planet Shampoo from Walgreens. Um, here's a hair color, nice and easy conditioner. I use that sometimes. Colgate Sensitive for the sensitive teeth. This stuff was shit. Don't buy this stuff. This is the, that shampoo from that OGX. I don't know. I hate any of this like brand of anything. It's just, it's shitty. The conditioner, the shampoo, all of it. I don't know what I was thinking. Here is that Jeffree Star Putty uh, Primer. The, the other stuff I showed you was the box. Oh my God, you guys. I'm so sorry that this video is so long. Here we are in the stars. Shower gel. Bath and Body Works. I can't even think. It's pretty late here, actually. Here's the secret deodorant, the powder formula. Love that. Um, this stuff is shit, and I would throw it away, which I am. It's a full bottle of Reveal. I don't know what it's supposed to do. It's a oh, it's a leave-in conditioner. Didn't work on my hair. So weird that it didn't work on my hair, but whatever. Okay, toothpaste of Crest Pro Health. This was shit. I'm throwing it away. It was the whatever milk leave-in conditioning spray. Again, it just sucked. It was bad. And then this stuff was bad too. This is the Moroccan Moisture Repair Conditioner. Didn't condition my hair. Full bottle product, gone. I'm throwing it away. Um, Let's see, here we have, oh, here we have my foundation in Classic Ivory. This is CoverGirl Classic Ivory Foundation. All three are done. And then we have um, some Estee Lauder. What is this? What is this? Oh, this is like a this is like a quad of something. I don't know. Gone. Blush by CoverGirl. Done. Um, here is oh a bronzer. A bronzer by Estee, but it broke. So we're done. Um, this stuff, you guys, moisturization for the face. I have been using this moisturizer. It's the anti-wrinkle cream by Pons. Now, you can get this stuff at Big Lots and this little pod thingy was 99 cents and it lasts me literally two months. So this is a really good product to have on hand. Then we have some other eye creams. Um, let's see, this one is Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Anti-Aging Eye Balm. 
And then we have the Estee Lauder Daywear Eye Balm. So those two are done. Oh, and then here we have the Estee Lauder Nightwear Plus. I think this is for an all over face. Antioxidant Night Detox Cream. I don't know, I just put it on my face and I pray for the best. Um, here we have a Physician's Formula Bronze Booster. Love these bronzers, you guys, because I don't tan, I burn, and then like my skin turns red, and then I get white again, and then I go out again and I burn, and it, like I burn on my nose everywhere, it gets red like Rudolph, so I have to be careful about that. And then here we have a Dove um, Purely Pampering Neutral Something or Other Moisture, what is this, Body Wash, that's over with. Um, here we have a Maybelline eye, eye shadow. I don't know, some, I can't even read it. I don't know what it is. Oh, and here's some, okay, here are some mascaras. So this one is the CoverGirl Clump Cluster. I didn't care for this one. Here we have, oh, my Remmel, my Remmel Eye Liner. You guys, this is amazing. This is the only shit that I buy now because it doesn't like bleed, it doesn't run. This is the CoverGirl Ready, Set, Gorgeous um, Under Eye Concealer. Love it. Here we have, this was an Estee Lauder uh, mascara. And here we have um, an Aveda lip gloss. Love the Aveda products for the lip glosses, you guys. And two other things. Oh, we have a MAC. Um, this is a powder, like face powder for MAC. What color is this? Medium. Should have gone with the light. And then we have a Halle Berry perfume. I don't know where she came from, but she's got a little left and I'm just finished with her. But I'm done now and I can throw all this stuff away. That's kind of my intent is just to quick make the video, throw the stuff away and start anew. So thank you guys again so much for watching. If you have used any of these products or you suggest a different product for me to use, please leave a comment down below and I will see you guys all later. Bye everyone.